15,000 generations of humanity, yet we have evolved not at all. Bound like animals to the laws of physics, shamed before the universe. And in all of history, only one man has stood to say that he will dictate what is and is not possible in this world. I speak of this man. For he has broken reality, and all of time pours down around us now at once, simultaneous and endless, erasing cause and effect, and opening all possibilities before us. And the ancient powers are subordinated to their own creation, and they smile at his achievement, and they say he shall live forever. For he does not do it for money, he does not do it for glory, he does it for his people, he does it for his country, he does it for freedom. And the gods shine down on us now, and the gods shine down on us still, because of him alone, because of him alone. The Nathan's famous 4th of July champion of the world. is a minus 5,000 favorite. You gotta bet 100 bucks to make 76 two off this guy. hot dogs and buns. 55 world records. The 15-time champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, the great Joey Tessa! Are you ready to sip from the volcano? Are you ready to make love to the dragon, Brooklyn? Count it down with me from five, four, three, two, one, go! I was under the impression we were just going to eat hot dogs and not have the other three <laughs> things in play, but what the heck, let's go for it. We got it going here. You know, I was worried with that rain, these, these eater jerseys. You know, Coney Island is the birthplace of quiet luxury, and these jerseys, believe it or not, are Loro Piana. The eaters, you know, they require something that flatters, but is also functional and understated, and I think Nathan's has hit the mark with these shirts this year. I saw her at Badlands Booker earlier. Was that a men, a boys medium? What was he wearing? I think he's a 6XL. 6XL. Joey Chestnut out early, five dogs in the first 30 seconds. Esper is close behind. Joey, uh, let's review. 15-time champ. Yep. Always been in the top three. He's got one-third, one runner-up. Uh, the world record is 76 dogs. Yep. What else am I missing? 1,152 in his career. Yeah. And when Joey did the uh, 76, that was two years ago, 2021. His first minute had a 12 DPM, 12 dogs per minute in that first minute. Second minute, he went down to 11. Third minute to eight. So in the first three minutes, he was at 31. The balance of the contest, those next seven minutes, he he was about a six DPM. So that's the that's the marker to watch. And then obviously, you know, did that delay? Will that impact performance? I don't. So. You say the halfway point is three and a half minutes of the ten, not the five. Already into double digits. Look at uh, look at our boy Webb, Webb, James Webb, who says what he really would like to do is take the belt back to Great Britain and UK and show us up on on Independence Day. I don't know how supporting that is. There's Mickey looking on. Her man, she already picked up another belt, hoping that Wary. Yeah, there's her husband. With that mohawk, man, it's the haircut equivalent of Travis Kelsey spitting Master P lyrics. I'm just a no. Please no. Uh, Travis just played some nice golf out there the other day. And we'll show you Mickey is his wife winning her ninth belt a little bit later here in the program as Joey's about to crack. The 20 mark, two minutes in. You're only two minutes in. And you talked about 12 and 11. Yeah, 7.6 right is the record for the whole 10 minutes. He well, did some damage. Take a look at James Webb. I mentioned, you know, the, his Australian mates call him Don Bradman because uh, that's the greatest athlete of all time in Australia, the cricketer. And uh, right up there was Sam Barkley of the Epping YMCA cricket squad. Barkley's arm was fast over the wicket as God intended, and Webb coming out hot right now. I don't know this. But Joey Chestnut we we bill him as the number one eater in Austin. You guys tell him, sure, like the whole southern hemisphere is his. Yeah. He, he plays in that whole place is his. Well, Joey, so two dozen, two and a half in. So he's 
well ahead of where he was. Or on and target right where he was Joey in 21. Maybe you see the dogs per minute. Oh Esper just behind. And listen, if there's a guy that could maybe take him out of Esper, who has been on a hot streak. Uh, like you want to talk about a guy who's been on a burner. Yeah. The last, since the last year, he's won about everything except for this. Esper, it looks like right now, early in, early in the game, it looks like he's got a little uh, food stuck in his uh, molar or some maybe a, a piece of hot dog you know, caught in his right cheek. It's like when you get a pebble stuck in the soles of your uh, on clouds. you got to decide, do I stop and pull it out or keep running? I'll tell you what, Jack. Jeffrey Esper is going to do. He's going to keep running. Joey with an 11 hot dog margin right now. Someone at Nathan's Corporate is getting ready to sell this man thousands of dollars. Oh, man. OG just dropped the hot dog. That hurts. I mean, he's not in the running right now, but it hurts when you're a performer of OG's level to drop a hot dog. It's like having an Uber driver cancel on you at 2 a.m. in Aspen, you know? You know it's your own fault. A careless mistake. And right now, uh, we always go hot dog and bun, right? Like most people think, oh, it's a hot dog. I eat it. The bun is included here. That's a very specific thing. Yeah. And, and the, the, the weight of the buns, the, 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 uh, the moisture level in the bun. 24 hot dogs and buns. That is not possible. That's not in a pace for 6.8. It's easy to do the math. 10 minutes at about a 68 pace. Look at Joey. Look at Wary. I mean, these guys are elite. Competitive eating is elite. I think Musk and Zuckerberg should settle their beef with a major league eating event. Bring it in. Hot dog's probably too difficult. Maybe we do like vanilla pudding or split pea soup. Something. They're a little older, these guys. Yeah, tapioca. Yeah, something. Gentle. I've never understood that. You get a guy like uh, uh, Darian Thomas, who's the youngest guy here. He should be better. His teeth are sharper. He's younger. <laughs> he should be able to go after it. Yeah. <clears throat> He's going up the, against probably the greatest we'll ever see. Well, I taught, when I right spoke now, with, with Joe yesterday, I said, you realize like you win tomorrow, you're 16, and now you drop out. Like if somebody's going to match that, we don't get there until 2040. Yeah. Even if the guy wins all, 2040. And he's like, wow, that's really interesting. Long interesting. time here. You know, Weaver right now at 34, he did 40, 40 hot dogs at the Dayton's Dragons game with me. He's having a great time in Manhattan, maybe too much fun. He's from Kentucky. Told me he went to a uh, speakeasy the other night. I said, how'd you find a speakeasy? He said, I found it on Yelp. And I said, if it's on Yelp, it's not a speakeasy. It's just a hard-to-find bar. Uh, the race for second, third, and fourth is intense. Chestnut, a minute away from title number 16. By the way, you look at this, guys. You can tell right now. Uh, that hurts. I, I don't know if we can pan on up to see uh, the elephant, but I don't know if he is eating beautifully and happily right now. Feels like that's a hard thing to do. Esper looks to be in what ultra marathoners call the box or the pain cave, just working through it. And James Webb are dead tied. Chestnut trying to get to the wire now. Five dozen. Esper and Webb, 45 43. Where are you there? Weaver kind of uh, scary long in the way he's come through here. Lots of talk about technology being the end of humankind as we know it. Look, John, you show me a chat bot that can eat 59 hot dogs in 10 minutes, and I'll buy into this AI nonsense. Until then, I am Team Joey. We are here for the human spirit, the human condition. Chestnut, 61 is going to be there. Esper trying to hold off Webb. Where he looks like he's got fourth. Here's the count. Five, four, three. Two, one, put down your hot dog! Oh my glory. Joey Chestnut. Now those are unofficial. Oh my glory. But it appears that he's got a comfortable margin there, to, you know, barring the some sort of out very, very eating bad. disaster. 62, cool. one shy of where he was last year. Now. It's well under the over under, but what it is is a win and a 16th win and an eighth in a row for the second time. In second place. Jeffrey Esper, the number two ranked eater in the world, placing second here today. And of course, James Webb making real strides for Australia, the greatest number ever put up for Australia with 47. However, the once and future king, the boy king, who has grown to fulfill a destiny of greatness. Look on his works, ye mighty and despair, for he has surpassed the kings of Egypt with 62 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes for his 16th win. I give you the number one ranked eater in the world, Joey Chestnut! 
Congratulations, Joey. 16 mustard belts. How do you feel with this uh, Mother Nature coming in here? Oh my God, it was it was a, what a roller coaster emotionally. They told us it was canceled. We weren't sure if we were gonna eat today. And uh, I'm just happy. Uh, it's 4th of July and I got, I got to eat some hot dogs and get a win. Yeah. How does that rain delay affect you? You're just having to wait and you can't eat. Are you drinking liquids? What's going on backstage? It's weird because I try to try time everything out. So, uh, so not only am I empty, I'm amped up. And it all got, it, 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 everybody got messed up and it affected me, but uh, dude, I, uh, I feel great. I, uh, I, got, I, get, I got leftover room, so I'll be having some beers later. Well, we all know that this is a very unique, uh, a very unique event and there's expectation that comes with that because your fans are here and they're here to support you. Are you always looking for the world record or you just want the win? Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I love to push myself. I'm getting older, you know that. I'm 39, so it's, it's uh, it's great to be able to push new records and know that I can still uh, push my body to new limits. Today, uh, things got in the way, uh, and, uh, but I'll be coming back. So everybody wants to know, is 77 even possible? You're setting your own world records, you're winning year after year. I mean, is there gonna be a challenge? Are you looking for that world record? Oh, of course I'm looking for the record. I'm gonna, I'll, I, uh, I was hoping to get it today, but uh, it just didn't come together. I, I knew I was slow from the start. And uh, maybe I, I was a little bit bummed out, so maybe I uh, played it too safe. Um, yeah, it, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. You can bet I'll, 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 77 is doable. What are you gonna eat tonight? <laughs> uh, it's a liquid diet tonight. Well, congratulations, 16. You should be very proud. Oh, Talk to you, you guys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.